Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to show you that how to repair without we how to repair this bad gear stick knob what is loosened and bad and how I can repair this old knob within only with one US dollars or one euro budget like in within one dollar how it is possible okay the solution is that we use one specific glue and let's go to look that how this repair happens let's continue okay and this the solution is this Sika glue and this name is Sika flex and I have this product number what is this 221 and this is really glue what is also very uh, tight and it makes excellent lock and it is also a little bit elastic and this is that's really excellent for these gear stick repairs if they are loosened okay and we can purchase these Sika products from internet and at least this number series 221 is my favorite and there's also some another numbers like 557 or something but they must be this glue and elastic things and this Sika it is the legend of these glue things this Sika come from Europe Europe there is a small country what name is Switzerland or Swiss and this is maybe the most favorite product from Switzerland in my mind, my opinion because I like also Switzerland chocolate but this Sika is even better because this lasts longer and I have used now this Sika products 30 years and it works always and only thing remember that when we are using these Sika products please use gloves because this stuff it is so sticky and durable that it takes so good skin contact but now I open that and I need this glue only small amount and this one tube this cost about 10 US dollars and now I am using only like half inch amount in here and that means that it cost one dollar because I can use this Sika Flex longer when I tape this nose with my electric tape okay but let's go to do that repair because it is really easy okay and firstly I, I have to do in here this I have sharp tool and I do this hole in here and there we can see this black glue what soon I will install in inside in that area and also in here and then I need my compression tool that I can compress out this glue okay and then here is my old this compression tool and this works so that I press this switch and then this piston moves in here in that way okay and then I install this my Sika glue in here in that way and then I start to compress a little bit and there we can see that this glue comes out and now I install a little bit in here in that amount and then in inside of that area I have to install in here also this glue a little bit in, in that, that amount good and now I can release that and now this my knob is ready and then remember this is really st stick and this contact based glue and use hands because otherwise our fingers can be in black within one week, week. and now I install this my gear stick back and in this position I have to remember that in what way I install that in here and now I install that in here and final step is to install that totally back and now we can see that this little bit pop up and that means now that there is too much this glue and I use that away with my fingers 
do not do that with bare fingers. And now I install that again. And there is still a little bit too much this glue. Finally it goes in down. An idea is that that still a little bit more Okay, now it is almost even still movement, it is almost done, I take little bit still away in the set, the set is key. And then again, and, and, and then I have to clean all of these extra glows glues away in this side area good and now there's final thing now I check that this is this goes in down and it keeps in there it is mandatory and then my friend next I need to wait about this eight hours uh, sorry ten, ten hours one 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 night and then this thing is okay and then my friend final part is that we use this clean cotton cloth and we clean all of these possible clues away and then really we have to let this glue to dry in one night like 12 hours and in morning this is ready for use and I will guarantee that you have better knob and if this still moves then we have to do so that I have to take this upper area away and I can drill small hole that this glue goes out and then this gear stick knob is in 100% tight but I believe that just now everything works Why? fine and this is solid and tight Okay, and now we can test this my gear stick when there is this Sika glue and now we can see that this is very durable and easy easy to use because now this gear stick is solid and it don't go away when we are changing like gears excellent and this was this my videos information and thumbs up my friend if you think that this was useful to you also.